Just when you thought we didn't have enough HDR formats, there is a new kid on the block. Well, new in the sense that it's another HDR format, but not new in the sense of it being a new developer. Once again, Dolby being synonymous name with uh, surround sound formats have an equally impressive vision department too. Now, they've announced at CES just the other week Dolby Vision IQ. Now, apparently, this is the one we've all been waiting for, apparently. Now, currently, the top dogs in terms of both adoption and technical specification are, of course, HDR10 Plus from Samsung and, as we've mentioned, Dolby Vision. Now, most TVs the last couple of years have either one or the other. Some a year older than those have, unfortunately, HDR10 on their Samsung TV. And we won't go into that Samsung breaking their promise of not updating their KS series to HDR10+. We won't mention that Samsung. A few are now sporting both HDR10 Plus and Dolby Vision. Both read the incorporated dynamic metadata and pretty much adjust on the fly from scene to scene, which is great. And begs the question, what on earth can Dolby Vision IQ do that the others don't already? Now, many new sets, now certainly those towards the higher end, have... Uh, built-in ambient light sensors to then adjust the lighting on the TV based on the ambient light within the room, making it less eye retina burning on bright scenes and easier to view in darker scenes. <coughs> we have, of course, had something similar to that for quite a while now on our phones to a much more basic level, of course. Now, Dolby Vision IQ takes these light readings and combines them with measuring the dynamic metadata from the source to adjust the HDR output based on those two aspects, therefore making it sort of more attuned to the environment the TV is in rather than a sort of one-size-fits-all approach. Now, for me, I think this is a real step forward and a, a, a it stops the sort of the whole screams from family members when you're watching movies that our eyes are burning out because everything's too bright. I hope you find this video useful. Let me know your thoughts on Dolby IQ, what you are looking forward to, and what do you think of the current HDR standards, you know, HDR 10 plus, Dolby Vision as it is already. Do you like them? Do you think they could do better? Do you think this will be a big deal? Let me know. If you like the video, consider subscribing, give me a thumbs up, and if you have subscribed, don't forget to click the bell to be alerted of when I've done more. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.